my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Aries. For your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements, wherever you have the Aries placement in your chart, you can apply this too. Before we get started, check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. For your protection, that's the only place, the only way you can get a private read from me. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check out my free radio show in the description. I pull cards for every zodiac sign and give you guys a message and we also listen to music and it's another way to connect with me it's a vibe over there other than that Aries let's see what's going on with you this week what is going on with Aries oh we got the feelings card here we go here we go Aries All right, let's get right into it. So first of all, we have feelings. This one says, someone feels the same way for you as you feel for them. Your feelings and intuitions are true about this person, but what will you do about it is the real question. We have waiting too long. So I see you're kind of dragging your feet areas. If you're in a place where you feel like someone has to prove something to you, or if you're in a place where you want to, you know, see who this person is before you really get too deep with them, there are ways to do that without, you know, making it seem like there's all these boundaries, you know, in the way. So just try to find a balance where you can, you know, allow the relationship to move forward um, while still, you know, exploring it and still getting the information you need about a person. We have the waiting too long card. Um, don't expect the world to wait because you've taken a pause. It is okay to take a breather and think about decisions that need to be made, but waiting too long may mean opportunities are passing you by. Yeah. You know, Aries, especially if this is someone who's going to be really significant in your life, we're going to get into to the tarot, of course, to identify what type of connection, what the nature of this connection is. But, um, you know, this could even be a business thing. Let's not make it all about love right up front. This could be like, you know, you meeting with someone and it's like, yeah, you know what, this person, I think this person and I could do business. I think we could really have something here. Like, you know, it can, it can come through in different ways. We'll see. But um, yeah, especially if this is a significant connection, you don't want to drag your feet on it because, you know, human nature, people will walk away if they sense like too many challenges or if they sense like, you know, someone's not ready or someone's not wanting what they want. We also have don't waste time. So I'm getting a bit of a time crunch here, which I feel like may make you guys uncomfortable. One thing about Aries, they do not like to be rushed. Oh my God, I have this Aries friend. If you rush her to do her makeup, she will really pop off on your ass like she will get on your ass <laughs> anyways yeah tapping into this energy let's see okay so don't waste time regardless of what people say follow their actions watch out for those who say one thing and do another also watch out for those who do nothing at all do not waste your time yeah, you guys, tapping into this energy, there are some major messages coming through here from the universe. The universe is saying if someone is not showing you what they what you need to see, don't waste your time. However, it's it's a it's a tight rope. It's a delicate balance. I don't want to say I don't want to go in too much on either side because on one end the universe is saying don't wait too long. On the other hand, the universe is saying don't waste your time. So it's about finding the right balance. I'm I'm nervous. I almost feel like there may be a decoy though because we have the misled card. Um, don't believe everything you hear. Someone may be purposely feeding you false information to mislead you. Find out for yourself. Use your intuition. So yeah, you guys, tapping into this energy, it's like don't waste your time, um, you know, sitting on something too long if you're not seeing what you need to see from it. But at the same time, like, like I said, it's a tightrope. I feel like if anything, you guys just really need to take a day to recharge, charge your crystals, um, you know, uh, cleanse your space. Like, I feel like you guys really need a clean slate. Journal as well, but do all those things first. Take a spiritual bath because it's so, this is like a, I, I see a decision coming up for you guys, Aries, and it's going to be very like, go, go, go. And you're going to have to like, it's crunch time. You're going to have to make 
kind of a split decision. So you're, you're going to need to be connected to your intuition. You're also going to need to be connected to um, your solar plexus. You know, maybe listen to some solar plexus healing music as you're sleeping. That's always my recommendation because what's easier than putting on the music while you're sleeping? Like, come on. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys, there's like, I feel like this decoy energy trying to come in. Okay, now I'm getting this image of someone trying to come in before you commit to something that's not them. So like I'll, an energy of an ex coming in and trying to convince you, hey, wait, hey, wait, I got all this to offer you <laughs> when they don't. Um, we'll keep going. We have heal and teach. There's a lot going on, Aries. Be a healer and a teacher. You've been through and learned a lot. You've come out the other end a stronger and wiser person. Now it is time for you to teach what you've learned to help guide others through who have come for help. So definitely a healing and teaching experience. I feel like one person need, needs healing and one person is ready. So it's important. Ooh, okay, it's triggering your heart space I'm hearing. Ooh, and that's the crazy thing. Aries, you guys really do have the biggest cards. People don't get it. They don't, just because you don't love in like a water sign kind of way where you're just gonna like flood someone with love and just cry with them, like... <laughs> doesn't mean you're not a lover people don't get it that's a whole other conversation though but tapping into this energy this person there's someone who's coming in and they're triggering your heart space you know that they you know that you can fix them you know that you can help them genuinely not everyone you can fix but this person like they have minor humps that if they could just get through you you can see the end with them still like you can see it working out and then there's another person who's just ready and the universe is really gonna like i feel like both of these energies are coming in at the same time and the universe is like immediately you have to make a decision we have happiness i'll say you know go at this with your happiness in mind um you're responsible for your own happiness don't look to other people or material things to make you happy don't let your happiness and well-being lie in the hands of other people true happiness comes from within and this is why it's important to be grounded so that you don't look at either of these options as oh my goodness this can solve my loneliness or this can you know this person can do all of this for me you know but um man i guess it's a it depends on what you want it depends on what you want <clears throat> all right let's see what's going on through the tarot let's get some more information about this oh wow interesting okay never mind I was gonna say that there's no wrong option, but there is. First of all, wow, we have one, two, three, four, four major arcana cards, three regular tarot cards. At the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of cups. So this is a decision for your heart, for sure. We have the devil card in the uh, lovers in reverse and the nine of pentacles in reverse, four of pentacles. I was gonna say there's no wrong choice, but there actually is. We have the lover's card and the devil in reverse. You're going to be tempted to go for the more low vibrational offer. The thing about this Aries is I don't feel like the offer that's not really good for you is going to be super, I don't feel like it's going to be super clear. I don't feel like the person is going to be like trash. I feel like the person is going to be tantalizing enough to convince you, you know, to, to make the lesser decision. And I feel like it's really coming from a heart space. Like they're really pulling on your heartstrings. Like you can see the potential with this person, but I also feel like there may be some baggage or like a huge secret this person has that um, you don't know about. Either that or they, um, either that or they're not actually ready. Or, and it, or it's a game to them. So once they kind of get you in a space where you're willing to help them and, and kind of cure them, then they kind of like start to really, you know, play in your face. We have the Justice card, the Queen of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Honestly, that's all good energy. I'm going to keep this Nine of Cups here so I can remember we had it. Let's get some more clarification on these cards. You guys are in a really good place, though. Like, Wheel of Fortune, you guys are in a really abundant place. Queen of Cups, you've worked so hard to get here, Aries, and I would just hate to see you squander it. Like, you've worked so hard to open your heart up uh, again. I just heard again. Or open your heart up in general and again even if you haven't been in like a really bad relationship or a long-term relationship opening your heart again can literally happen from you closing your heart and saying love doesn't exist i haven't experienced anything worthwhile i haven't had a long-term relationship or i've never had a relationship at all or i've always been chosen second like 
I've never even had something solid and I already give up on it. Coming back down to earth and grounding yourself and saying, okay, you know what? There is still a possibility for me to experience true love is still, again, you know, that's still a second chance here. And then we have the justice card and the nine of pentacles. So it's like, what's right for you? What's fair for you? I'm still going to clarify those though. The justice card at least. Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune lets me know you guys are in a really good place energetically though, Aries. Like a really genuinely good, good place. Eight of Cups, okay? So you've already walked away from this type of energy. You've already decided that you're not going to be the teacher anymore. Yeah, chariot full steam ahead and someone just comes around and they really kind of trigger that for you. So you have to make a decision. It's crazy how these cards are coming out. Eight of Cups with the chariot. You decided, all right, I'm going to pack my bags. I'm going to walk away from this situation. I explored all there is to explore with that situation or it's just over. And then we have that chariot card here. So that's an energy of you moving forward for preservation of your own peace, you know, to respect yourself, your own worth. And then we have the two of wands here. So there is a decision to be made. Who the world. What's it going to be, I'm hearing? What's it going to be? So what's it going to be? That's what I heard. Choose love. Wow. Choose yourself. <laughs> we have the world card. And then the three of swords in reverse and the empress card in reverse just came out. So it would honestly be, you know, it, it would just honestly be disrespectful to yourself to do this. Here's the thing. We all have free will. Sometimes the universe, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the, the hack. The universe will say, okay, who's the best teacher that's available at this time? Okay, that, that soul incarnated in that body is working with this other person. Okay, so they're busy. This person's, not, and then they see you, Aries, who's available. And the universe may be like, oh, perfect. I'll have Aries deal with this. I'll have Aries, you know, heal this person. I'll have Aries teach this person and be there for this person, yada, yada, yada. You could say no, T. You could be like, no, uh-uh, not. <laughs> Which is why I communicate personally so much with the universe. I write a lot of letters to the universe. Every two months, I write a letter to the universe about what I'm looking for in a relationship when I'm not in one so that, you know, we could all be on the same page. Because what I'm not gonna do is take on something that I don't want. Yeah, look at this. It feels like love momming too. And it's just like, uh, you really feel for this person. This person has got you in a freaking heart space, you guys. Bottom of the deck, we have guard your heart. But look at this. We have let love in out of the blue and lust. So this person is likely very, very freaking hot. Very attractive. And um, they're like banging down your door like let me in let me in and it's a very lustful energy so it's just like oh my god you're trouble <laughs> it's like you're seeing this person and you're like you are trouble i know you i know what you want i know what you want we got spellbound and i feel like that spellbound energy is mutual i feel like you're spellbound when it comes to this person and they're also spellbound when it comes to you both of you guys are equally very attracted to each other even as i say this i'm like feeling myself getting warm like the energy is is very sexual it's very tempting we have a lip service <laughs> which is funny because you know lip service is typically about gossiping but i literally got like a different energy with that if you know what i'm saying if you don't i'm not going to explain that one but i feel a lot of sensual activities happening in aries and it's hard to resist. Intruder. All of a sudden, this person is coming in and it's like you resonate with them. I wonder if this is like some sort of past life. Like, I wonder if you've met this person in a past life. Because the way that they just kind of resonate with you is like all, they're already familiar. And it can just be because they're a, they remind you of someone you used to know. Or because, you know, they're giving out a similar energy of someone you've already dealt with. Or reminding you of a karmic cycle. But, uh, man, it's kind of hard to, it's still hard to resist. <laughs> okay, well, we have intruder and just say no. So the universe has spoken. That's what the universe has to say about that.
the universe is like just say no even though this person is you know you're really feeling them you're feeling very attracted to them this is the one that wanted to come out judgment I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so this is about saying, okay, this person could use my help. I know that I could fix them, but I'm making a conscious decision not to. I understand that everyone has their own path and challenges. We all do. But you can't save everyone. You cannot save everyone, Aries. And especially not someone who has the ability to kind of be around a lot longer than they should be. We have grief. It's hard to see someone like this and know that you can help them. It's hard. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I don't know if I said this before, but we have the chariot card. So this could be someone of the past, but you know, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. The universe is saying, even though this energy is familiar to you and you have it again, don't stick to it. Appreciate the cycle for what it was. Appreciate that person for what they were. And if you can't look on that situation with appreciation anyways, because you had to be a teacher and then you think of the low vibrational stuff, then that just that's, that should be all you need to tell you. But yeah. <laughs> Not going to you know, reinvest in that. <clears throat> Flat out, just like that. The universe is speaking, Aries. This is gonna be a huge challenge because I, it's rare that I see the universe go this hard on one specific thing in a spread. Spirit the divine, you know, God, whatever you believe in. It's rare that in these messages, it'll be this much like, wow. And it's interesting because typically the universe will also allow you to make your own decisions, which of course you still have the decision here, but there is, there's huge red flags. There's huge, huge warnings. We have time to go on building blocks. So the universe is saying it's time to wait, time to walk away from the cycle areas. The cycle doesn't have very much to offer you here moving forward. And then we have TikTok and higher power. In the beginning, I was getting a lot of time, a lot of time-based messages like, you gotta rush, you gotta hurry. Like, there's all this, you know, heavy energy around time, all this, you know, attention to time. And with that higher power card, the universe is telling you to tap into your higher self and not to waste your own time here, investing in something that won't take you anywhere, but allow the decoy to come through, allow them to pass through, and take advantage of the actual opportunity that's gonna have something to to give to you in return so yeah that's what i got for you aries check me out on um etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading for your protection that's the only place and the only way you can get a read from me like this video please subscribe to my channel and check out my free radio show also in the description we pull cards for every zodiac sign get messages um we listen to music and it's another way to connect um and that was your spread you guys i love you be careful what you wish for and i will see you in the next one tune into my radio show where i pull cards and play all the bangers on station head in the description